Hello everyone and welcome back to our England playthrough where we um, have forwarded a little bit of time along which has gained us a lot of gold. I went on a pilgrimage which has gained us piety as well as finding two wives and taking a vow of poverty which loses 20% of our income but has made our piety go up so that we can now declare some holy wars. Managed to conquer two extra lands in... well I didn't actually. Our Duke of Gwened took them himself and... Alba have taken a little bit more of Ireland. That's pretty much everything that's happened. There's just this one province left in Wales to take. And we need to try and take more of Ireland now. And now that we have this piety, we can try and do that. We could go for our claims. We've got several claims. Unfortunately, we can't press them all at once. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for the Holy War of the Duchy. And we're going to go for... Hmm... Which one would it be best to go for? Let's go for the bottom one. The Yardum of Monster and Confirm. Declare war let's make a new rally point down here in southern ireland and let's raise all of our men here and then we can hopefully take a huge chunk of ireland here which will hopefully then allow us to form ireland and wales which is what we really need to do so that we can then let's split this army in half let's move 2000 onto the capital there and the other 2,000, let's move to here. Do we have decent commanders in charge of both? Yes, we do. Perfect. Um, but yes, hopefully then we can form the title for the Empire of Britannia, which we can then found, and then we can try and go for Scotland. And the end goal of this series is just to get all of the British Isles together. So let's try and now get this southern irish land which is going to be leave ireland pretty small if we take this it's also taking their capital which is perfect and your culture is now fascinated by the city planning innovation which is nice which is hopefully going to help us out a lot uh, one of our acquaintances has died ekbert which is a shame but once we get these two lands under siege here this should give us a huge huge bonus in our war against the irish do we have a s oh, oh whoa 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 do we have a siege leader that we could put in control instead yes we do ha you we need to recruit you to our oh god i did not mean to do that you co just cost me a lot of money but never mind he is very impressive to be fair though he's a berserker so um and we've taken a prisoner in the siege which was at 39 percent perfect let's now march on to where can we march on to let's march to there in connecticut and that will hopefully win us the war, we're at 69%. So, yeah, it's going to be a very quick, very easy war for us to win. But that's fine. That's perfectly fine. That's what we want. We want quick and easy wars with very few casualties and very impressive rewards. There's been a scheme at court. Nothing too important, though. And it looks like the Irish are trying to improve their control. Well, I say Irish. It's Norse Irish, though, isn't it, really? It's not really any one of... Um, Irish descent actually ruling Ireland. It's a completely different. It's the someone of Danish descent, I believe. So Dane law has completely took over in Ireland. This siege is about to end, which will win us the war. Any second now. This is at 93%. We've taken a prisoner in the siege. Can we ransom the... Wow, we've got a lot of prisoners that we can ransom. So we will ransom several of those, which will allow us to get a nice bit of gold that we can then use after this war. We just need to get... Two more little bits of land under siege. One will probably be enough. Um, let's ransom these other people. These are not as impressive. 25 gold, actually. That's still pretty impressive just for a commander. So we will take that. And we'll take advantage of it. And we've got a martial lifestyle perk that we can now spend. Um, let's go for prepared conscription. Which makes our armies less expensive to maintain. And perfect. We've managed to ransom another prisoner. Can we now ransom these other two, please? 25 gold. Wow, this... This lord has a lot of cash spare, it would seem, for the amount that we're managing to ransom from him. Ransom accepted, and let's just ransom this last one for another 25 gold. Perfect. And whichever one of these sieges ends first is going to win us this war as well, which is awesome. Do you know what? Let's march down and attack the Irish army instead, actually, that are trying to lift the siege. Whichever happens first is probably going to win the war. We have managed to get to them. Perfect. 100%. Enforce demands. Perfect. That now belongs to us. Let's march our men home into the English territories. 
Where are you currently? Ah, okay, yeah, that's why you can't disband, because there's an army marching. We are over our domain limit, but of course, as we always do, we're going to grant the new titles that we've just gained, which I'm guessing are these ones here. The Earldom of Ordom and the Earldom of Fomond. We are going to give both of these to our brother-in-law, who is going to be the future King of Ireland. Perfect. Gives him a lot, a lot of land over here now, which hopefully he'll make use of. Can we now disband our armies? Yes, we can. Perfect. Can we disband you up here as well? No, because there's a hostile army nearby, unfortunately. Oh, there's apparently in our lands. I don't know where. Can we not disband you yet? This is very infuriating. Never mind. At least we've took a huge chunk of island. I wonder when we'll be able to... We can use out the Yardum of Munster, which is good, and... We've also managed to get a claim on some of this Irish land as well, which is perfect. Let's try and usurp that then. How much is it going to cost us to usurp that? Wow, 250 gold. That is a lot. That is a hell of a lot. So we won't. I don't think we will go for that, to be honest. Not just yet. Um, so we will ignore that. Just waiting until we can disband all of our men. Which hopefully it will be soon. But Ireland's looking pretty vulnerable now. But the thing is several of us fighting over it which is the annoying part about this i may create i don't i don't dare risk creating the kingdom of wales we are pretty old we could die at any moment and that would that would ruin everything right let's disband our armies perfect there is this small danish bit of land they do have a thousand men though we can't declare war on you because we are oh, we're in debt of course we are we're in debt but we can soon get ourselves out of that that's fine Alba are a worry, just with the amount of power that they do have. I don't think they have as much power as us, but it's still a concern. These here are already in a war, unfortunately, so we can't try and take that line. We don't have a claim on it, which is annoying, really, considering that we own the rest of Wales already. But never mind. We're almost out of debt, and then we can try and assess our situation, see what we can go for next. Alba is going to be the hardest one to take. It's definitely going to be hard to take the Scottish lands. Definitely. Um, what else can we do? Let's have a look. Can we can we do anything with you? Can we declare war on you yet? No, we can't. We can declare war on this. Of course, we can't declare war on Ireland because then we'll be a truce breaker, unfortunately. Denmark. We can declare war on you for the Holy War for this county. So... Hmm, yeah, let's do it. Let's just get it out of the way. It's going to be easy for us to win. I'm not going to call any allies in. We don't need to do that. We've got more than enough manpower. Let's raise all our men here. Oh, there are some allies joining in this war, though, which is going to make it a bit harder. Give them 5,000 men now, in fact, actually, which is worrying. One of them being a king, which is interesting, but I think we'll still be okay. Just because we're going to take the land that we're actually trying to take. She's going to give us a big bonus. Wait for our men to gather and let's march straight onto that. A neighbouring ruler has lost his war, which is fine. It would be good to get an alliance with Scotland for now, but I don't think we can. Let's have a look. Have we got anyone that we can... We've got our daughter, our granddaughter. Yeah, he's not going to be interested, though. Maybe our, maybe our granddaughter. No, not interested, unfortunately. So if we could get an alliance with Albert, that would have been perfect, but never mind. We can make use of it in the future. Let's just go and get this land under siege, and then we'll see what to do next. Is this the enemy army just arriving now? It would be good if they do appear in smaller fragments, because then at least we can destroy the hosts in fragments. I think this is. I think this actually is the enemy army, which is just... Oh, no, it's a neutral army. Is this the enemy army? No, another neutral army. That's fine. We'll wait for them to come to us. Let's just get this under siege, which shouldn't take too long. Only a couple of months. Aha, now some of our land is under siege where i'm not sure but we'll keep an eye on it is it our land over in yeah it's our land over here they always go for our land in the um, holland which is fine i'd rather we lost that land to be honest okay and just by taking this province that chucks us up to a mighty 52 percent in this war so we've literally just got to attack the enemy hosts now wherever they are oh the kingdom of finland has finland been founded interesting yes it has and they've actually got fleets as well, which is interesting. Is that who's involved in this war? A Finland in this war? No, they're not. Okay, interesting. Um, 
They only have three thousand men now, though, which is good. Where? Let's sail over here so that we can crush this Danish army. Well, it's actually just a Yaldum army, but it it will give us war score, which is good. It is going to be a bit annoying. It is annoying when we have to sail here, there, and everywhere just to end a war, but it's unfortunately what we're going to have to do. It's going to lose us a lot of money, but it's going to gain us a lot of island as well. Let's march on and crush this host, hopefully giving us a decent amount of war score. Perfect. Give us 100%. We've actually managed to capture the King of Denmark in that battle, which is absolutely perfect. So let's enforce our demands disband our men before we get even more in debt because we're an excessive amount in debt and that now gives us that land which is perfect so let's grant that to our brother-in-law grant title the earldom of osara perfect gives him a huge amount of land i wonder if we can yet create island three titles we can create the duchy of line and the duchy of munster which is going to put us well on the way to creating the duchy of ireland what do we need to create the kingdom of ireland or usurp the kingdom of ireland should i say um, we need a lot of gold, <laughs> unfortunately, and a lot of other stuff. So it's going to be a while away till we can do that. Spouse up to the task. Some of my councillors believe the job is theirs by right of blood and influence alone. How wrong they are. I expect results, yet I am often disappointed. After a long day, I am complaining to Elizabeth when she interrupts me. Let me do something about it, husband. A few lessons might sharpen their wits. Um, mm, oh, let's have a look then. So our brother-in-law has 100% opinion of his anyway about our brother he has a decent opinion and our priest has a decent so our brother will be the best one to send you to and improve relations with him at least we now own a decent amount of ireland most of wales are they still at war yeah they're still massively at war unfortunately so we can't do anything there our marshal has earned some respect though which is good what other things can we do there's people we can imprison but no one that we can gain gold from it's all gold that we need now our, is this our daughter? This is our granddaughter who can marry. She's a fortune builder, but she is gout ridden. Um, let's send her to our. our oh, he's already our brother in law. No, he doesn't need another. Um, hmm. What about Alba? Could we maybe get Alba on side this way? Just have a civil. Uh, no. Um, who do we marry her to then? Who do we marry? Let's have a look. Let's see if there's anything inheritable trait-wise. Um, age difference of five years, if we can keep it. Oh, intelligent. Perfect. Yes. Um, will he accept? And he'll also accept a matrimonial marriage. Perfect. Let's send that proposal then. Keep it in the family. Try and get that intelligent trait running through the family. Greetings, King Ethelred of England. I gladly accept your marriage proposal. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We just need to now get ourselves out of debt. So let's forward things along fast. Let's have a look around and see what's going on elsewhere. So Brittany's still managed to stay independent, which is interesting. Our queen is pregnant. Perfect. Nice. Spain's doing pretty well in it, taking back Iberia. Um, Aquitaine is now the main province in what would be France. East Francia is doing pretty well. Um... We already know that Sweden's doing pretty well. Finland's been founded. Norway's a complete mess, as is Denmark, as Ireland... Wow, okay, so some of Denmark now belongs to Ireland, and Denmark is actually very small and pathetic, whereas Ireland is actually pretty strong, which is interesting. That's disgusting border gore. Absolutely hate it. Byzantine Empire is obviously losing land, as always. What's going on down in Africa? Not a lot. House of Land's been created, which is interesting, but... Yeah, there's not that much really going on, is there, other than horrific border gore. So we'll just we'll just mind our own business over here as we try and create the British Isles. Are these still at war? Yes, they're losing 50% now. Good, hopefully that'll end soon so we can try and take this last province in Wales. Have Alba managed to take those islands yet? No, they've not. Not to the Shetlands yet. Um, rest for the weary, sweaty, tired, and in need of food. A long day of training with the troops is coming to an end. As we search for a place to camp, we spot an old and abandoned castle in the distance. Firm in my resolve, I declare that is where we will make our camp tonight. The sun is setting, and with every step towards the ruin, it looks more ominous. Ominous. Um, before long, the soldiers are whispering about ghosts. Let us venture inside. I'm sure there's treasure to be found. Let us raise our tents outside. Um, who knows what you'll find in last? Let's have a look. Searching for the unknown. Darkness, dampness, and desolation reign inside the castle, and all traces of a life are gone. 
Peering up decaying stairs, I spot what might be the remnants of a lush tapestry and old paintings. Looking down spiralling steps, I see only darkness reaching far down into the ground underneath the castle. We will search the upper floors. We could gain 130 gold, or what might be hidden in the darkness? You gain face my fears. No, let's search the upper floors and get some gold. Wow, it would be so good to get 130 gold. Wow, we actually did it. Awesome. Getting ourselves out of debt, which is what we desperately needed. Such a shame that we can't go to war with Ireland again yet. Uh, what a tired yet blissful smile. Sierra presents me with a perfect little daughter. Whisper. Oh, I don't like that. Um, let's name her after her mother. Sierra. Nice. Just need to be able to create these duchies now. That's what the next thing's going to be. The Duchy of Limestone, the Duchy of Munster, which is 250 gold. That's a lot of money, but we shouldn't take us too long to get that. A sudden shock. I have ridden, taken aim, and struck so many times I thought nothing could upset my ribbon. As I take yet another gallop down the practice range, a commotion I cannot fully see makes my horse rear up. For an instant, momentum keeps me pinned to the back of the horse as it starts shaking. Then, as if time is flowing slow, I can feel myself becoming dislodged. Calm down, girl. Calm down. Experienced rider or I die for stable. Nope, let's try and calm her down. Uh, I can feel myself being thrown left and right, but no motion can make me loosen my grips on the rein and the saddle. My commands eventually soothe the horse, and the animal is soon back to stomping eagerly on the hard-packed ground as stable as ever. Perfect. We gain 100 martial life style points, and we gain an experienced rider. Perfect. We've now got enough points to buy another perk. So let's go for Soldiers of Less Fortune, just so we can try and get this Overseer perk uh, tree completed. Greetings, my impressive liege. It seems that in my dealings with Duchess Ethelwif, I have, I may have accidentally made certain promises of exemptions from her obligations. I have tried, but I suspect there might not be any other way of out of this by now, you fool. Now I can still salvage this. She's a weak hook on us. Oh, you absolute idiot, you fool. I don't want anyone having a hook on me, unfortunately. Um, perfect. Our bishop apparently is doing really well. That's nice to know. Our piety is increasing still, though, as well, which is good, along with our um, prestige as well. What do we have here? Available Dynasty Legacy. Okay, well, we'll go for Warfare, because that seems to be our best thing, doesn't it? So let's stick with that. Um, your Dynasty has unlocked House of Warriors. Perfect. Awesome. Task finished. Um, perfect. We've managed to increase our control in a county, so let's go now do that in another county. Um... Is there anywhere left? Oh, wow, yes. Norfolk and Suffolk need improving massively, unfortunately. So we'll stick with that. Could send out our person to start getting claims on some other lands. But maybe the Isle will... Um, no, I don't really want to attack Alba just yet, though. Would be a little bit risky. I just want to be able to create these titles for now. So let's just let our gold increase and while we do that let's end this episode here then guys so thank you all so much for watching as always i hope you've enjoyed please don't forget to like and comment down below and hopefully i'll see you all very soon for the next episode